In the late 1950s, a horrifying serial killer preyed on the young aspiring starlets of Hollywood, taking twisted glamour shots of his victims before sexually assaulting and murdering them. Welcome or welcome back to True Stories, join our family in exploring some of the most twisted true crime cases. As always, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Now, let's get into it. From an early age, long before he earned his nickname, Harvey Glattman expressed certain sadomasochistic sexual tendencies. Growing up in Denver, Colorado in the 1930s and 40s, Glattman's parents quickly became aware of their child's unsure. His mother, for example, once discovered the young Glattman choking himself with a noose for sexual gratification at the age of just 12. It seems like I always had a piece of rope in my hands, when I was a kid, Glattman would later tell officers. I guess I was just kind of fascinated by rope. When Glattman was 18, and still in high school, he was arrested, after he tied up one of his classmates at gunpoint. He continued to rob and sexually assault women for years, often being arrested, and serving short stints in prison. But in 1957, Harvey Glattman moved to Los Angeles, where he began working as a television repairman to support himself, and where his crimes would quickly escalate. He would approach women posing as a photographer, and then act out his murderous desires. His first victim was 19-year-old model Judy Ann Dull. She was engaged in a protracted expensive custody battle with her ex-husband over their 14-month-old daughter, so when a man named Johnny Glynn called offering her a much-needed $50 to pose for the cover of a pulp novel, she jumped at the opportunity. When Glattman arrived to pick her up, none of Dull's roommates saw any danger in the small, bespectacled man. However, once he brought Dull to his apartment, he held her at gunpoint and repeatedly assaulted her, thus allowing him to lose his virginity at the age of 29. He then drove her out to a secluded location in the Mojave Desert, outside of Los Angeles, where he strangled her to death. It was there that Harvey Glattman would continue to take women, tie them up, sexually assault them, and finally murder them. Harvey Glattman's next victim was Shirley Ann Bridgeford, 24, a divorcee and model who he met through a Lonely Hearts ad using the false name George Williams. Glattman picked up Bridgeford under the pretense of taking her to a dance. Instead, he brought her back to his place, where he tied up, photographed, and sexually assaulted her, before taking her to the desert, where he killed her. He left her body unburied in the desert, to be ravaged by animals in the desert wind. As he had with Dull, Glattman found his next victim, Ruth Mercado, 24, through a modeling agency. When he arrived at her place for a planned photo shoot, he learned that she was feeling too ill to proceed. Undeterred by this fact, Glattman returned to her house hours later. This time, Glattman let himself in and sexually assault her repeatedly at gunpoint throughout the night. In the morning, Glattman forced her to walk out to his car and then drove her to the desert, where he killed her in his usual manner. Glattman attempted to continue with this modus operandi, but was foiled when he chose the wrong victim, 28-year-old Lorraine Vigil. Vigil had just registered with a modeling agency when she was contacted by Glattman for a photo shoot. She got in the car with him, and was not worried until he started driving in the opposite direction of Hollywood. I did not become alarmed, however, until we entered the Santa Ana freeway and he began driving at a tremendous speed. He wouldn't answer my questions or even look at me, Vigil later said. Then, Glattman claimed his car had a flat tire and pulled over to the side of the road. Once the car was parked, Glattman pulled his gun on Vigil and tried to tie her up. Vigil, however, was able to grab the gun by the muzzle and tried to wrest it from Glattman. He then tried to convince her that, if she let go, he would not kill her, but Vigil knew better. As they fought over the gun, Glattman accidentally fired a bullet that passed through Vigil's skirt, grazing her thigh. At that point, Vigil bit Glattman's hand and was able to get a hold of the gun. She pointed it at Glattman and held him there until police, likely alerted by a passing motorist, arrived on the scene. Police arrested him for the assault, at which point he willingly admitted to his previous three murders. He then spoke openly about his crimes to law enforcement. When put on trial for his crimes, Glattman pled guilty and repeatedly requested that he be given the death penalty and even attempted to stop the automatic appeal given to all death penalty cases in California. Ultimately, Harvey Glattman was killed in the gas chamber at San Quentin State Prison on September 18, 1959, bringing his horrifying killing spree to an end. We've come to the end, thank you for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Till next time.